Hey guys, welcome to Dazzling Handmade. Today we're making another Valentine's Day card. And I want to show you a little trick on what you can do with tags. I have, this is pretty much all I'm going to use for this card. And I have this long tag. And what I did with this, I already made this, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So I got a cardstock. I put my tag down. And I put this heart on the bottom it's so like this down so i put it down i ran it through the machine and then i moved it a little bit up and i ran it again and up and again and up again and again so it came out like this so from it went from a tag to being a little window card window tag and I also pre-cut these little squares, which will be the background of it. So I just made sure these are all fit. This was a little long. I'll cut it off later. But this is how I'm going to be putting it in. So I cut this up to where it fits. And I'm going to put glue around the back of <laughs> the card. The back of it so a little bit of glue and this is where it will be sticking so from the back place this part to the heart and if you have a design like this one make sure you put it in the design you want to see i really like that little heart and swirl sticking out and i'm going to do the same thing with the next three so gluing it on the back and then adding the paper background to it from the back and then repeat so it's a cute little trick and uh, look at that very adorable and for this you can use any design paper you like I got some foam and I'm gonna cut it to just smaller than the actual card because this will also go on top of another card, this tag. And gluing it the back. And there you go. Here. Right there. So no foam is sticking off. With the bone, I'm going to make sure my card is well folded. And the hearts will go on top of it. And I really like how it's kind of hanging off. Now time to glue this one onto the card. Like that. Uh, the foam I got on eBay many, many years ago. It's packing foam. There you go. And I'm going to use this sentiment because I like how it's not straight, but a little curvy. So I'm going to cut up this little paper that's big enough for my tag and then the misty it's a sentiment so it's best to do it with the misty so I don't mess anything up if I was to do it with freehand and I'm using the one of these pinkish red ones this is the festive berries and it is not pink it is very <laughs> A very bright red dust this off because I will be doing some embossing on it so I went over this twice actually and as you can see it is very red raspberry red so I went over it twice and now with the Versamark I'm going to go over it again. And for this, I'm going to use a clear embossing powder over a coffee filter. Uh, this clear embossing powder is a little bit more like sugar. So there, it's not as powdery. It's a little more crystallized. So because it's a little more crystallized, when I blow on it with the heating tool, it kind of some of it gets blown off so I figured that if I warm it up from the back it will not blow off 
some of the embossing crystals. That way it melted very nicely and it gives a little bit of shine and some 3D effect if you look at it from from in person. I'm cutting this out just uh, going along the text and honestly I have to admit I did not like how this came out but it was very late so there was no turning back. For this video I just wanted to show you that little heart trick I learned myself um, with the tag and making the hearts in it. To give a little edge I'm scraping the edges with the same stamp I use, just going along the edges and I kind of messed a little bit up on this one, right about here, right there. Yeah, the paper is a little too thin, so, but anyways, <laughs> a little foam in the back and this will make it pop out and look really cute. There you go. And right here, I think. Yes. That'll be good right here. A little sentiment and some hearts. And then I have these pre-cut already flowers and leaves that I'm going to add to it. And I choose three different colors, so there's a little bit of contrast to it. I just have to glue all these together. I love this nozzle. I mention it in every video probably because the nozzle is so thin it gets into every tiny little bit of detail space. There you go and just glue the leaves down a little more to the paper so everything sticks and nothing flickers off. And one more right here, and then I think I'm done. Yes, that is the final look. All right, I think it came out really cute, other than the sentiment. Maybe we could have gone without the sentiment, but like I said, I just wanted to show you this really cute trick you can do with tags or even with a, a different size and shape tag. So I hope you like this video and you learned something new. Happy Valentine's Day!